Carrie Lake. So I'll be honest, I don't know much about her, but I know that she doesn't take shit from the Democrat media and that the left regularly call her a fascist, which basically these days means you're not a Marxist and you love America. In 2016, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar, and Hillary Clinton, everybody on the Democrat side said the Ms. election Lake. had problems. Miss Lake, there definitely sorry, has been some of that, but I want to say... <laughs> of course. Nice try, but unfortunately for you, it's different when Democrats do it. The Ms. election Lake. had problems. Miss Lake, there definitely sorry, has been some of that, but I want to say in 2000, Al Gore conceded. In 2004, John Kerry receded, uh, conceded. In 2016, Hillary Clinton conceded, and we didn't see that in 2020. That's the difference. Except it's not much different. Basically, everyone was mostly accepting election results up until the year 2000, when Democrats went beyond normal objections and actually tried to overturn the results by decertifying Florida for Bush. It didn't work, but Democrats still claimed the election was stolen, rioted at Bush's inauguration, and even attacked his motorcade, which is something that had never happened before, which you can see a video of if you head on over to Twitter and give me a follow. In 2004, after Bush won again, there wasn't any inauguration violence, but there were protests, and Democrats again tried to overturn the results by decertifying Ohio this time. Despite Gore and Kerry conceding, it didn't matter, because from there on out, Democrats and their state media referred to it as the Bush regime, implying that he wasn't legitimately in the White House. And if you look at polling, Democrats never accepted Bush as a legitimate president. Then Obama wins, and nobody calls the election stolen. Fast forward to 2016, and well, you all know what happened. They denied the election results, they denied Trump was legitimate, and generally did everything they could to undo the results. Starting with impeachment, which they started calling for literally before he even took office. Hillary Clinton conceded, but then spent the next four years, and even as recently as two weeks ago, calling the election and Trump illegitimate. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows, he knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election Election turned out the way it did. In 2016, Hillary Clinton conceded. All of this election denial, which has now escalated, was driven by Democrats and their media. But this is how Dana Bash describes it. Miss Lake, there definitely sorry, has been it, some of that. This is exactly how Democrats and their state media mouthpieces have been able to keep this election denier narrative going for the last two years by ignoring or downplaying their own blatantly hypocritical past actions. Hillary Clinton conceded, and we didn't see that in 2020 that's the difference and so the question is Jane, are you Jana, undermining Jana, faith Jana. in elections by saying that the 2020 election was stolen when there's absolutely no evidence to support that dana in 2018 stacy abrams never conceded she still hasn't i don't hear cnn calling her an election denier <laughs> We have the right, it's protected with our First Amendment, to question our government and to question elections. No question about that. And we still that. have the First Amendment. Yep. We still have the First Amendment. And when you start seeing the media cancel people for questioning their government, then that's when we have a problem. I, I a totally agree problem. about the First Amendment. You and I are uh, benefiting from the First Amendment as we speak. So I couldn't agree with you more on that. <laughs> Exactly. They love Stacey Abrams and cannot equally apply their standards to her for various reasons. Lastly, they keep insisting that unless Democrats win, then democracy is over. Biden even recently claimed that the next election might not be legitimate. In both cases, suggesting that the only way democracy or an election is legitimate is if Democrats win. How is that not sowing distrust in the election system or denying election results before they even happen? Of course it is, but have no doubt that in their heads, it's different somehow because they're the ones doing it. All right, that's all I have to say about that. Hit that like button and leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot.